Hey, what's up, guys? Just doing a quick review of my kayak. I just filled in stream Shadowcaster. Now, I know there's a good amount of videos already out there on it, so I'm not going to give you guys too detailed of a video. I'm just going to show you what I have did to my kayak, a few little modifications. Alright, down here in the hatch I got my wheels ready for transport. I can take those out, take them with me anywhere I go. I have a battery box in here for my fish finder. That's waterproof and it's velcroed down so it doesn't slide around and move. Yeah, I ended up putting this on just to have something to tie off to if I were to be at a dock or something like that. I mean, this hasn't affected me at all, having this out like this. It seals very tight. It's a good seal all the way around. So I have my, I have my wires coming out right here. I threw a small hole. I'm going to end up putting some marine, marine glue right here. This right here is just the cord going out to my transducer. I'm probably going to end up changing that up and bringing that cord through this middle section right here. It's the Scotty, Scotty transducer mount. Uh, Garmin Striker 4. Of course, you got your scale. Uh, this box is for my, you know, phone, wallet, keys, fish, fish. Well, I guess uh, grips. Of course, you got to have your needle nose, and of course, some clippers. Nail clippers for me cutting fishing line. Like I said, I'm not doing a super detailed review of this kayak. You already know the seat adjust, and I'm I'm six four, and this distance here works great for me. Plenty of space. I'm six four, two thirty. Plenty of space for me. Very, very stable. Just want to point out, this is a this is a prototype. I'm just doing a test run of this. Uh, this is for a front-facing GoPro. Coming straight out of scupper hole, and I'll make a whole video on how to create that. I think it's literally less than $5. So far, I only got three rod holders. I can hold a total of five rods if I wanted to. I have an extra pole here, just in case I wanted to get a different view, GoPro-wise. This was an absolutely free milk crate, and I'll make a quick video of that, of where I got that for free. I know it's hard nowadays to find one for free. I'll just say temporary, temporary knot for my anchor trolley. I'm trying to figure out what's the best knot to tie for this carabiner. Um, anchors is nothing but a three pound anchor right there. But if you guys leave in the comment section below what's the best knot, I think this side I did a, a quick slip knot, and this side was a polymer. I guess I'm just trying different stuff out. Leave in the comment section below what you're going to do for your, your anchor trolley knot to hold your carabiner on or that O-ring. And that's about it. Very simple. Very functional. And I'm probably, I'm probably going to end up using this, using this crate. I'm going to cut the bottom out. And I'm probably going to use the other crate for a top for this crate. Um, but like I said, it's a very quick, simple rundown review of my Field and Stream Shadowcaster. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for anything that I bought online. You guys, go ahead, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys out in the water.